Welcome back guys, John Lar here with a tutorial for Dominate 2.0 on the Mindplex servers. What? The, the Mindplex server? What? Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna be going through skill points, item points, getting the, you know, diamond swords, the gold swords, all of that. Just figuring everything out. And, yeah, just... I know a lot of people were having trouble with it toward the start. A lot of people have figured it out, but there are still some people that I realize just don't quite understand. So right away we're gonna go into classes. So what you'll want to do is you'll first, well here, we'll just, we'll go, you know, right, super basics. You will right click on the class that you want. There are these um, five classes here. There's brute, which is like heavy hitting, take a lot of damage sort of thing, but slower, but you can actually go really fast if you have one of the abilities. There's mage, which is just sort of a, I don't know quite how to describe it. It's sort of an all around use random you can make mage do pretty much anything you want. Um, Ranger, which is a archer kit, and then there is knight, which is a just sort of your average, you know, fighter, and then there is assassin, which is like the fast little run in, do a lot of damage, run out, but you take hits really easily, and that is my personal favorite class. So, yeah, you will go up and right click on the class that you want to work with, and you will choose, um, you want to edit and build. You can go with the default build, or you can edit your own build, make your own. Um, so yeah, currently this is what I'm running with, but here. So up in the upper right, you will have a little, I believe it's, here, let me check. Yeah, it's a little gold thing that will say skill tokens, and it will say however many you have. And these get used up in here. So right here, uh, I forget what the default, these are the two defaults for here. But we'll just start with the sword here. So if I wanted to equip evade, which should be equipped on the default one, but if I wanted to equip it and I didn't have it equipped, I would um, left click, click on it right there and see it used up the skill token that was there. If I wanted to unequip it, I would right click on it and see it is not enchanted anymore and we got our skill token back. And this you can use to upgrade the other things here. Like if I wanted to upgrade smoke bomb, I would, oops, I did. Yeah, you would left click on it to, the, uh, yeah, to upgrade it, and it would use the skill tokens here. So your first ability is your sword ability, which you use by blocking your sword. Um, I believe there's only one of these. Oops, I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Um, <laughs> no. Okay. Some of it depends. For um, assassin, there's only one of these, but some of the other classes have different numbers of these abilities. Um, but yeah, that you use by blocking with your sword, and that does not get changed by having any of the other swords, like the gold sword here, the diamond sword. Your axe is just another weapon to be used. It is, they actually up the damage so that it is the same as the iron sword, with six damage, um, I believe, unless they've changed that since I last read about this, but, um, yeah. But the ability is usually... Well, it changes throughout the classes, obviously, but, um, well, for most of the, for, um, Assassin, and then we'll check with Archer. Yeah, so it's a lot of times based on, um, your movement, sort of, because he, here, it's like the leap and flash and blink. Um, and I don't even know where I was going. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, you equip and de-equip them the same way if, I wanted to buy one, like here, I have bought Blink, if I wanted to buy Flash, which I will do, I would just left click on it, like I just did, and then, oh sorry, you can't read that, anyway, um, I would, if I accidentally did it, I could hit cancel, and if I accidentally canceled, I can go back, left click on it, and then click OK, what does it say here, Star up to, yeah, so this one, you, it teleports you six blocks, um, forward, and you can store up to two charges um, with the default level. It uses 28 energy, and it, um, it has 10 seconds for recharge. Wow. And if you want to buy it, you just click on one of the OK box, and you get all these. And then you can just hit escape. And Oh, wait. No. It goes back. Whoops. Anyway. Um, so yeah, now I have bought Flash. If I wanted to equip Flash, see, it's not letting me equip it right now. I'm trying to equip it, but it's not letting me because I have Blink equipped. I would have to just... You know, right click till all my three levels I had put into Blink are there, and I could put however many of them I wanted onto Flash by left clicking on Flash. And if I wanted to do all three there, 
And then it's the same with all of these. Your bow abilities um, has to do with your arrows. It has nothing to do with like hitting with your bow or anything. Um, as far as I know, for the other classes at least, it's just what your arrows do. So here we have silencing arrow, which um, will silence silence our um, opponents for six seconds. Which will here actually I forgot to show you guys that, but yeah, it will silence our. Um, target for six seconds and silence stop skills for doing for being used I can't talk <laughs> anyway so yeah as you can see here as I remove the level what's the point of leveling this up look at the numbers here it says you can store up to two charges it uses uses an energy of 28 and it recharges at 10 seconds um, but if you see next to that there's a plus one on the charges a minus two on energy and a minus one on charge if we do upgrade this oops I downgraded it if you upgrade it it makes those changes so now it uses less energy recharges faster and can store more charges and then obviously as I go up and I believe the maximum you can have is four yeah you can only do up to four on any item um, any ability here next is the three passive abilities the um, first the a passive ability is used by dropping, like hitting your Q or C key or whatever you have it set to, um, almost always, but it has to be your sword or axe, I believe. Um, I think it's the same for all the classes. Okay, maybe it's not the same with all the classes, but um, I don't, I'm sorry, I should have done more research before I made this tutorial, but yeah, it would usually be used by dropping, but sometimes on some classes it's not, so you can just... Why is it? Okay. Oh, it's charging, even though I'm not in a game. Anyway, yeah, so that's how that works. Um, this one, the um, passive B and global path passive, eh, can't talk, just are just, you don't do anything, they just um, are applied to whatever you have. Um, passive B, at least for Assassin here, is put onto your sword when you attack. Combo attacks is really good. I also recommend Shocking Strikes. Viper Strikes is pretty good for some people, but um, Shocking Strikes is awesome. But yeah, you can read up on all of these to see what they do, and you can mess around with it to figure out what fits your playstyle. And next is down here on the um, in your inventory. A lot of people miss this. this oh wait, I should probably... Oh, what happened to my... What did I do with those? Oh, right here. Uh, like that. Uh, sorry, I'm just fixing up my class here. I guess I'll do that. Yeah, I guess we'll go with that. Uh, anyway, so yeah, now down here in your inventory, it's very similar to up here. Just, it's a little different, and over here you have your item tokens, which are different from skill tokens. I don't know why I'm... There, okay. Something's wrong here. I don't know, we'll just go with that. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> So, it's a little different, they're different, they're separate. Why am I, why do I have so many things? Oh, because I usually have, oh, I usually have one more level of blank, sorry. Um, yeah, so, it's the same in how when you remove one, you get one, when you add one, you take one away, but it's a little different. When you start out, you'll just have one stack of arrows and then usually a bunch of um, mushroom soups, but you can, change between these you can buy these um proximity zapper and explosive but here i'm just gonna throw this out so yeah these are iron however so they're they are different and if you want to add say i wanted to add a water bottle back um or if i wanted to remove something once again i am right clicking to remove it and then i am left clicking to add it back and it adds to that i want to add uh can't remember how I did this. <laughs> um, oops. There was a way that I did this so that it worked the way I wanted it to, but I don't remember exactly. Is it like that? And then this. And then I get rid of that and that. And then do this. Or... There. Wait. No. There we go. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you sort of saw how I did it, it sort of always puts it in the first slot, so if you want to line it up right, you know, and nicely, you can do it that way. Oh, and then I want to put my webs down. Yeah, so 
Another thing that a lot of people ask about is how to get more arrows. You just put more arrows down here by removing some of your soups and you know, you can look into what all these, the webs, you can throw them by um, left clicking and they appear on the ground. Yeah, the water bottle gets rid of most most um, weird effects like fire and stuff like that. And it's an area of effect thing. And then this gives you regen, the mushroom soup, like most PVP sort of things, you know. Um, but the one big thing that so many people ask about is how to get the diamond sword. And, um, oh yeah, I really need to buy the axe here, the booster axe, but yeah, essentially what the booster axe does, it gives you one more skill point, skill token, I believe. Anyway, or the booster sword if you wanted to do that, so you could get two extra skill points there. But the big, the good one to go with is the power sword, the diamond sword, which increases your damage by one. You will have to buy this for 2,000 gems, just like this one up here, and then once you have it here, it takes um, four item tokens here, so you will need to get rid of a little bit from down here. But, you know, that's okay, you can just, here, like I said, if, see, I have four there. If I put this down, which is the default iron sword, I have two. But then if I, but here, this is another thing. A lot of people just think, why can't I, you know, put it in? You have to remove the iron sword by um, right-clicking on it. And then you can left-click on the diamond sword, and you have it. Which has an extra level of damage. Yeah, so, I hope you guys understood that. This is the first part of the tutorial where I go through the classes and um, abilities and stuff. Next, I'll go through the actual gameplay, how to figure out what to do when you get in the game, because it can be a little confusing at first if you don't quite understand the way it works. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If there any, if there is anything you don't understand, just tell me in the comment section below. Other than that, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Shut up, John.